So, uh, BC presented the inaugural Edward J. Brown III 66 Leadership Award at the Bell. <laughs> In honor of my classmate, Ed Brown, and his transformative gift to BC, the first million dollar gift in the history of the school. The award is presented selectively to an individual, a family, or a community partner whose leadership, guidance, and dedication helped us to further the mission of the school in a significant way. So it's an important award. Tonight, I'm greatly pleased to present this year's Edward Brown Award to a man whose vision, leadership, and resolve has transformed this school. Many years ago, Abbott Douglas shared with me his vision for new leadership at BC. At that time, we were struggling with enrollment and financial resources. And in spite of the tremendous financial assistance that we received from the Abbey, we were in dire straits. In a discussion with the abbot about those issues, he told me at that time that he had the right man for the job, the right man to serve as headmaster at BC, but that we would have to wait until he com com completed his commitment to the military service with the Army. At that time, I, he didn't give me a name, and I didn't know who he was referring to, but obviously, it's Father Frank. Mm -hmm. Here he is. Here he is. Later, I was at a meeting at the Arch Abbey when Arch Abbot Douglas introduced me to Father Frank and told me that Father Frank's next assignment would be headmaster at BC. Father Frank and I met in the sitting room in Leander Hall and had a long conversation about BC. I explained to him some of the history of the school from its inception of Bull Street to its move to Sea Wright Drive. We talked about the issues and challenges that faced us at that time. And although he didn't ask too many questions, he took copious notes. <laughs> but you still have those notes. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know at that time what Father Frank would do, how he would lead us and our school in the transformative way that is evidenced by these facilities and this wonderful faculty that we have, the staff, the students that we have, all of those things are due to his leadership. Father Frank, in his humility, I'm sure, will be the first person to give credit to all of you, to the board, the administration, the faculty and coaches that we have. But we all know that every ship needs a captain. In our case, we needed Father Frank. During those perilous times, he stepped up and righted the ship when we needed him most. On behalf of the Board of Directors and on behalf of all of you, it's my honor to present this award to our Headmaster, Father Frank. Father, for your leadership, inspiration, and loyal service for the last 15 years, we honor you and say to you, Thanks for loving our institution and leading it forward. It, and it's been a team effort. Believe me, it's a great team here. Thanks, Phil. Thanks. Plenty great. Thanks a lot.